This is part two or video two of the Matrix presentations. I'll talk about the infield use and distribution of Matrix, uh, a bit about chemical use, and also about the ordering and delivery process. The trichogramma are dispatched as parasitized nut borer eggs on sheets of finely corrugated card that are approximately A4 size. The eggs are down in the grooves so we are able to stack the sheets on top of each other. These sheets can be broken into 24 individual strips along the perforated lines. Staple the strips under a leaf around head height and target areas where nut borer have been observed or areas where you've had the problem in the past or in areas where you expect moths to move into the orchard, say from bush boundary or the windward side. Try and identify nearby hosts of nut borer, for instance, Poinciana, Bahinia, Bird of Paradise Tree, Capania, Eastern Cassia, Golden Rain Tree, Mimosa Bush, Scotia, Tamarind and Mangroves. In high rainfall areas, inverted plastic cups can be used to protect the cards from rain. Cards can be stapled into the cups or hooked on a wire. Although most growers don't do this and they still get good results. Cups can become a place for ants to make nests. And if the cups cards are stapled under a leaf, they get pretty good protection from rain and sun. Sometimes birds or other insects may pick at the cards. So remember that the wasp will hatch out in the first day or so after placement but the eggs will still remain black. Ants may even eat the eggshells after the wasps have emerged. So just because the ants may clean up the eggs, it doesn't mean that the wasps were eaten by the ants. Before releasing Mactrix, make sure any chemical residues have had time to disperse before the releases are made. A week wait is enough for most chemicals or more than necessary for fungicides. If releases have been going for some time and it's deemed necessary to spray for instance for a fruit spotting bug or sagastus, then you should do the spray. Adult trichogramma will be killed but those developing inside the nut borer eggs will have a good chance of survival and will be able to re-establish quickly. All the same, it's best to minimise the use and frequency of broad spectrum insecticides as much as possible. Try and get the timing right so you don't have to reapply and you can minimise your applications. The fewer broad spectrums applied, the less likely to induce secondary pests like scale, mites and thrips, and the more likely beneficials will be able to make a useful contribution. But if it's deemed necessary by you or your consultant to spray an insecticide, then choose a softer option if there's one available. It's best to discuss the selection of chemicals with your consultant to suit the situation at the time. But here's a table that shows the main beneficial insects and some of the softer options. At this point, I'll just mention that I've made a separate video on monitoring for nut borer and Mactrix parasitism, so check this out at the uh, Bioresources website. Mactrix releases should start at various times depending on location, from late October in North Queensland uh, right down to uh, mid-December at Nambucca Heads. Macadamia nut borer is also a serious pest of lychees and longans and Mactrix works just as well in these crops. So talk to us about a release rate and a program suitable for your farm. Mactrix are sold by the thousand parasitized eggs in programs or eight or, of eight or more deliveries per season. The density of the parasitized eggs will vary on the sheets. This allows for a wide margin of error there are actually many more eggs than this. To make use of all the sheets, we generally send the lower density sheets to the growers with small orders and give them more sheets to make up the difference. 
The high density sheets usually go to the larger orders and we send less sheets. Sometimes a small order will have a high density sheet, sometimes a larger order may have some lower density sheets. <clears throat> we all are, always supply in excess of your order. A quick look and count with a hand lens will make this obvious. And some weeks, when we have excess sheets, we'll distribute them among the orders. As for release rates, for smaller crops, release 500 to 1,000 parasitized eggs per hectare per week for at least eight weeks. Small crops with close boundaries can be more susceptible as moths can easily spread right through the crop. So order enough for the total area of the crop. For larger crops, say over 10 hectares, the rate can be reduced if you can identify specific areas where nut borer usually start in the crop or where there are hot spots. This way, you, can, you may not have to treat the whole area of the crop. In the first two or three weeks, place all the strips in known hotspots or along pressure boundaries. If releases start late, then higher release rates per hectare can be made in the first two or three weeks. Discuss release rates and a strategy suitable for your farm with your consultant or give us a call. Matrix is a reasonably perishable product. We cannot store the parasitized eggs for more than five days in the cool room, so we have to carefully schedule production to meet the seasonal demand. We have over 300 packages per week to send out, so it takes a bit of planning, and this is why we organise the orders for the season in September October. As mentioned, we usually contact all our previous customers in September to firm up orders for the season. This enables us to schedule our production and make sure no one misses out. We do aim to have a bit extra available so as to respond to order increases. And if you need to cancel your order through the season, this can be done. For instance, you've been wiped out by hail. But we do encourage growers to stick to their plan as much as possible. When it comes to delivery, uh, we try and finalise our orders for the following week on a Friday. Uh, we prepare our packages on Mondays and dispatch via Australia Post, Express Post on Tuesdays. This may change around public holidays. The Christmas New Year week is a challenging one for us and growers, but we encourage growers to re release right through this period as the moths don't ha have a holiday. It's peak time for nut borer. Most years we do a special trip at Christmas time to the Lismore Mail Exchange to enable overnight deliveries. Most of our communications with growers are via email and we email Australia Post tracking numbers on dispatch. If you'd like more information or you want to place an order, contact us or your crop consultant who can place an order for you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found this uh, helpful. Um, I'd also like to thank all the people that have been uh, contributed to this project and make it happen, especially my production team that have been fantastic over the years. Couldn't We couldn't have done it without a great team. So thanks again, everybody.